way to keep up with all the nice thoughts everybody has for him. It's 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 very comforting when um, when you're missing someone so much and you realize what a profound effect they had on so many people and how many people miss him in some ways. It's the most comforting um, comforting feeling I've had in my grieving for him is feeling like I'm not alone at all. And I know the same is true for his brother too. You know, you can't go through something like this without a lot of support. And um, I think the internet's helped to keep that support and that um, touch with them and then through them with Aaron too. So we all had that connection. Aaron's our connection. If I see those kids, if I communicate with those kids, her friends, then in a way I feel like she's more alive. She's alive again, or maybe that's really not the best way to say it, but I just have that connection. If I'm connected with them here, then I feel like I'm in a way connected with her in heaven. Because I know she's hanging around with them. So if I know what they're doing, what's going on, and I have that little connection with them, I, I still feel, you know, maybe she's enjoying it too with them. So definitely that connection. Has it been comforting to you to be on her Facebook and MySpace page? Most of the time it's comforting for me to go. Today I was really pleased to go back there. I felt good about that, reading the the messages that have been posted there, to read even her profile and things like that again um, are comforting in a way. But um, it, it can be hard when I see pictures taken and Erin's not there. But then again, you know, having that connection with those kids, seeing those pictures, reading those comments or are um, keeping me connected to and a tribute to her open up uh, to his myspace and I'm checking on his birthday some of the messages that have been left uh, for him from friends and Camille is saying I'm really missing you and uh, wants is asking if he could visit her soon that that she really likes when he comes to visit her and um, she's sorry he won't be here this weekend for his birthday. And then here's Lauren saying happy birthday. And there's uh, actually one from his brother saying happy birthday, brother. I miss you. So those are the messages that Garrett gets from uh, his friends getting to share. And it's pretty early in the day, so maybe we'll get some more and I'll check them later. I'll probably write one myself, actually. Somehow it, it's comforting. <laughs> a way to, I don't know, send a message. Uh, I'll do it through different means. I figure it never hurts to try uh, prayer. And, and writing is a really cathartic way to express your feelings. Sometimes I just write and tears will roll down my face. And I send it and feel better after I've done it. It's all, it's all good.